Yes, dog. Dog cam. Yes, character creation stream. We got 45 minutes approximately to get it done. Before the first break. This <laughs> awful interface means you can't really plan ahead. I actually was doing that kind of last night, this morning, looking at different, you're looking at the, the character builds that are possible out there. I'm gonna stick with balanced. And I've narrowed it down to basically um, sorcerer, monk. Well, it was originally sorcerer, monk, or druid. But the more I looked at the druid, the more I went, eh. It's not really what I wanted. Just because of the limitations on shape changing. If if there was a if they had a druid archetype that didn't involve shape changing, I'd be happy with it. But there isn't. There's a, you know, there's a there's a heavy spell casting class um, or archetype which looks like it'd be cool. Um, there's a shape shifting, you know, focus which would be cooler if you had unlimited shape shifting, but it doesn't. Because I was actually hoping it did, but it doesn't. So. And then the third one was somewhere in between. So, yeah. It's not, no, it's not so much boring as it's just, it's not druids and, and Pathfinder and, and uh, Dungeon Dragons 5 are just, nah. Their shape shifting is so limited. It really screws them over. They, it makes them not so much boring, but just not fun. <laughs> I think that I think the real issue is, is playing druids and um, EverQuest and World of Warcraft kind of ruined the, the Dungeons and Dragons druids because they are so much more enjoyable. They're more versatile and their shape shifting isn't limited, you know that kind of stuff. So, you know, I think that's mainly what the main issue is: is druids and Dungeons and Dragons just aren't as cool or as much fun to play. It's not so much that they're boring; they're just not as fun to play. You have a ship with good shape changing. Playing it for your making this ass. Well, it is good shape shifting, but it's it's still limited though. Sword druids always play the same. You have very little leeway in customizing them. Yeah, I saw that too. It's considering renaming druid shaman the same way they're doing to witch. Woody, I don't know what that means, Greg. Welcome back, everyone. Happy Thursday. Just like druid is kind of just vanilla. Ball fall, you're at relatively limited pool. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, enough of the whining. Let's uh, actually pick out a character. So, of course, doing custom origin and then race, we're going to be doing a draw. Oh, I guess the real question is do I want to do male or female? I haven't done a female character in one of these games in a while as a main character. It doesn't really change anything, though, does it? And sub races. I know who Wizards of the Coast is, but the renaming thing, I don't know what that means. The renaming of the Druid and Shaman the same way they're doing to Witch. I don't know what that means because I don't follow tabletop stuff. So I don't know what that's in reference to. But I know who Wizards of the Coast is. Okay, so a Loth Sworn Drow, raised by Loth's Cult in the city of Mesoburg, whatever those Drow. These drow embody the virtues of their corrupted and merciless goddess, Loth. Uh, or, or their goddess. Loth marks her followers with with bright red eyes so that then the Underdark will learn to fear them on sight. So you get to have little red eyes if you go this way. And Seldarine. Seldarine drow can be found seeking allies from all over Faerun, aiming to settle their conflict with Loth and each other by any means necessary. So, basically it's Evil drow or kind of evil drow, right? See, a big complaint I have with the sh classes in this game. There's relative customization feels somehow limited because they didn't give you enough archetypes. Ring. There's only what three per class, so that's. I think that's what the issue is. There's just not enough archetypes. They're not evil at all. I, I, I don't agree with you. I think they can be evil if they choose to be evil.
Not that the, the actual draw we tend to see. Right. Right. The evil, the evil, evil ones and the maybe evil ones. So anyway, we'll go with the Seldarine because we don't want to be evil, evil. It's because there are real world identifiers they think, oh. Oh, is that what they're doing? Whatever. They're kind of just neutral, the Seldarine draw. Okay. So classes, what classes do we want to do? Don't want to do bards, so don't bring it up. Druid, we already discussed why we're not doing that one. Monk is a possibility. My only issue with Monk, well, maybe not the only issue was, when I was playing around the builds a little bit, was in order to be a main character in this game, you do need some charisma points, and you have to tank a bunch of your scores, or some of your scores, in order to be an effective monk. Because you want high dexterity and a decent wisdom, because you get ex ex you know, ex AC from the wisdom. She knows Kung Fu, yes. Yeah, Sorcerer would be a good choice for a charisma type build. Well, yeah, I know you can go Stex or Strength, but why would you go Strength? You're not wearing... Because I don't know how AC works for Monks as you get farther into the game. Because starting out, if you go 16 Dex and 16 Wisdom, that's a 16 um, Armor class to start with. Which isn't horrible, but it's also not that good. And how does it go up over time? Can they get it? I mean, how do they get to it get to go up over time? Sergeant, I don't work like great cruising. Yeah, I know they are. Cringe, but you can go heavy armor monk in this if you just forego your wisdom to AC. Oh, yeah, they don't. Yeah. Tavern Brawler and you can work in heavy armor, you just give up decks. Yeah, that's not doesn't feel like a monk to me. Oh yeah. Gimpy history. All the Baldur's Gate games, my first character was a monk. <laughs> this was the this was the first Baldur's Gate game where my first character wasn't a monk. So that's why I'm tempted to do the monk. It's just that like I said, the limitation is so ability. So that we want this down there. Wisdom for the AC stuff. Strength we don't care, really. Intelligence we don't care. Constitution's questionable. Want that to be 16. You can dig that down to 16. You charisma up to 13? That doesn't. That's not right, is it? Or you can just take strength. Tank strength, too. Hammer roll is stupid and strong, but I feel like your deck's. And just like, yeah, I do too. Paladin is fun. Dark Elf Paladin. I didn't even think about Paladin, tell you the truth. A drunken build for this. So, Paladin. I didn't look at any Paladin builds, though. So I don't even know what to do for as a paladin. Subclasses. So Oath of the Ancients. You fight on the side of light and the cosmic struggle against darkness to preserve the sanctity of life and the beauty of nature. Oath of Devotion. Following the ideal of of the knight in shining armor, you act with honor and virtue to protect the weak and pursue the greater good. Oath of Vengeance. You have set aside even your own purity to right wrongs and deliver justice to those who have committed the most grievous sins. Hmm. That was relatively straightforward. Have you? Oh, I know that part. I know how to play a palette, and I just never didn't think about it for this run. Grisman and Strength are king. You get a constitution. Ancients get talked to animals for free. The ancients do? <laughs> Talk to animals, it's right there. Dual wield or two handers. Two handers tend to obliterate everything. Yeah, we know about that. Oath of Vengeance, two weapon, and smite everything into oblivion. That sounds boring. I was kind of, the talking to animals has actually got my attention. 
Oath of Mickey, Oath of Rocket, what would those be? Uh, Mickey would be uh, bark, bark, bark. Rocket would be eat, eat, eat. That would be their oaths. Ancients, three or four. Healing Radiance and Wolf of the Ancient Tenets. Actually, I could probably look it up. Because I think I'm still on the webpage somewhere. I am. So, character. Classes. Dun, dun. Are you Paladin? So we're looking at uh, Oath of the Ancients. Speak to animals is level three. Speak with animals is level three. It's not too far away. Oh, you get Misty Step too. Snare and Strike. Turn the Faith with Nature's Wrath. Radiance thing, Moonbeam, more ordering, protection from energy, plant growth. So, do I want to speak with the animals? I guess is the question. Paladins can't break their oath. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Dark Age on top of it will be a fun playthrough. Drow and Ancients is an odd combo. Why? Dark Urge with with a Paladin <laughs> for your dark side. For all your dark side fun. I think you guys just want to screw me over. It's what, Vengeance was the other one you guys were talking about? What's Vengeance get? Visitor's Might, Oath of Vengeance, Empty Your Enemy, Vow of Eminent, Vow of Eminent, en I hate that word, Enemity, Bane, Hunter, get Hunter's Mark as a Paladin? Old Person, Misty Step, what's with that Paladin of Misty Step? I get Haste too at level 9, it's pretty far in there, but, mm, I don't know. Gotta be honest, that's the spot speaking of anim speaking with animals is pulling me in that direction. I don't really care about blowing stuff up. Ancients and dark urge will lead to oath breaking, but you can repair that. That it was your playthrough restart number one. <laughs> Darker's playthrough makes you break your oath, by the way. From what I've seen, none of the mandatory stuff. It did for you. Nothing you could do about it, really. So what happened to her again? What's the problem with Ancients and the Dark Urge? I mean, it's just easy enough to not do the Dark Urge. I'm guessing because this is more of a Goody goody paladin? Fight on the side of light and cosmic struggle against darkness to preserve the structure sanctity of life and the beauty of nature. I'm guessing the dark urge wants you to do all that bad stuff. You can reforge your oath, it's not a problem if you want. Okay. So we'll go ancients and uh Don't think of Dark Urge as necessarily meaning you murder everything you can, but then again, you can do that on any playthrough. Yes, you can. But it does have a few mandatory kills. <clears throat> really? Background. What should, I be, what should I be a form of background? An acolyte? Insight to really oh, skills of research. Insight and religion. I guess we should do a stats first time. Huh? So. Watch strength and charisma. So I'll set up there. Why does it give him so much dexterity? Constitution. 
constitution, intelligence, wisdom. How important is wisdom? There's a scene in a Dark Urge playthrough. Someone wants to travel with you and stay at your camp. Next day, just a pool of blood and guts. Not so good as ancients because uh, they are about preserving life. Offers an extra bit of story and it ties in nicely now that you've played a bit of the base game. Since you're wearing heavy armor, you get nothing for deck. I know that. Wisdom isn't important for a paladin. That's what I thought. Then why are they giving him so much wisdom? Oh, but this will help with perception and stuff. Oh, they start your medium armor? Okay. That would explain that. Hmm, have one extra point floating around. Hey, Hobo, we'll go back. Yep, Thursday. 16 strength, charisma 10, or and 10, 10 everything else. Reset con, rest con, something like that. Do that. That doesn't seem quite right, though. Hmm. See, Lazel's armor off her in the opening. <laughs> Go lower charisma, I think. Start with 17 strength. Still have one point left over. Wash her face. Looks like she was the uh, mud all over it. Well, we're going. Into, well, we haven't done the appearance yet, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I guess we'll live. No oh, skill proficiencies: religion, insight, perception, intimidation, and persuasion. I think that'll work. Hand wisdom and get the extra point charisma. Really? Yeah, actually, yeah, we actually do want to do that. Because that gives us right to plus three there with the modifiers. Strength is still plus three, too, but we can pick up that to 18. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay, so. Paladin, Ancient uh, Oath of Ancients, Background of Act. Oh, I didn't pick a background yet. So Insight, Religion, Deception, Sleight of Hand for Charlatan. That's a good Paladin thing. Someone can handle Wisdom Rolls? Sure, they can. Can I s sell you on playing Dark Urge? Can you sell me? I don't know. How much are you charging? Criminal pa uh, pal criminal computer to paladin, deception and stealth. Entertainer, no. Folk hero, animal handling and survival. That's based off of what? Wisdom? Is there wisdom? Wisdom's only 10. Guild artisan, insight persuasion. No. The eyes of persuading people. Noble, history. So intelligence and charisma, eh? Outlander, Athletics and Survival, Sage, Save Soldier, Athletics, Intimidation. So it's Charisma and Strength. Actually, might not be bad. So athletics, Insight, Perception, Intimidation, Persuasion. I think I can live with that. Check your proficiencies again after choosing your background, by the way. Also, high athletics is fun. I know. That's why I got it. <laughs> I 
I know what athletics can do for you. Okay, so. So there's that. So that's all the that's all the background stuff. Origin. The dark urge. Wait a minute. Nothing in the path you pave with blood, magical cruelty whispers to you with one in. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? But I don't die. Oh, it changed everything. <sighs> now I have to redo everything. It changed everything. I blame you, Ray. Background haunted. Oh, now we lose my skills. You give a moment, person or high or thing that cannot be slain uh, by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. Uh, carry it whenever I can change my skill so I can I lock to that background. Of course it does. Oh, we have athletics. Okay, so we're good. So athletics, medicine, perception, intimidation, persuasion. Yeah. Medicine of Perception. Can I ditch these? I can't change these? Because I really don't care about medicine so much. Oh, I guess we're stuck here. Stats, 17, 10, 13, 10, 16, 8. Okay, not so bright. Not so bright paladin. It's not the worst. I know it's not. Medi is locked in with darker. Oh, is it? Boo. Can't change out of medicine there, but that's also due to your class not having that many proficiencies. I understand. Anyway, I think we're good there. Ah, appearance. I'm gonna do female, right? Yeah, female. Boys. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's me Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Be wary. This place is trapped. Yeah. Could go buff female for a paladin? I could, but I won't. Okay, so that's you. Skin tone is done. Maturity. Yeah, we don't care about that stuff. So body art. We're not going to have tattoos. Eyes. Oh, can have oh, you can have different colored eyes. That's not messed up at all. Eyes. White eyes are too creepy, creepy red. You don't want to be mistaken for a, a bad drow, so we'll stick away from the, the red stuff. Green? It's not very green. And the purple. I barely see it, but it's there. Okay, so let's make up the eyeliner, the infamous eyeliner. Does this mean she's killed somebody? 
pretty sure that's what it's supposed to mean. If I killed, we'd be murdered. It's kind of different. Probably did. She's a murder. She's a murder hobo. Not yet. Soon. Now the infamous hair. I was looking at this earlier today, and I was thinking, if I had, I was thinking about having Mrs. Gimpy help me build this character, the appearance of it. And the more I was going through stuff, and I went, no, that would be a mistake. We'd be here all decade. <laughs> she would see the stuff and, she, and all the different options. She would go crazy. It would take her forever to get to this. And I don't mean I'm doing hyperbole here. She would literally be here forever trying to do stuff. It's actually not that bad. So which one was that? I don't know. Oh, that's a good one too. Nice ponytail. We'll be fixing the hair color, so don't worry about that. I should probably do it right now, shouldn't I? Proper draw. White hair. Oh, highlights? Oh, we don't do highlights. Green. So go put the gray, the grain intensity up there and some real white hair. That's a proper draw there, I think. Bunch of hairstyle. Still working on that. Look at these hairstyles and I see all the braiding and stuff. It's like, do these people know how long it takes to do that shit? <laughs> wow, we're not impractical out in the field. Very impractical. It's practical not yet in, out in the field. But glamorous? It's good for TV shows and movies, but that's the only place it really works. Because in real life, man, it's a lot of work. I tried to get Mrs. Gimpy to braid her hair on a regular basis, and she did it for like two days. She goes, no, this is too much work. <laughs> it's not worth it. Because <laughs> if you leave it in the braid, it gets all knotted and stuff. So you have to take them out like every day and brush them out. It's, it's like I said, it's a lot of work.
Ladle Leather, or sorry, Late Leather Q. Welcome to the stream. Oh, and this is another hairstyle we're trying to get Mrs. Kimpy to convince to do. She she wants to do this this uh, uneven part with the flop over, but she keeps she goes. I don't know how I can do that on a regular basis. It never it never works the way she wants it to. Ah, whatever. And bam. Here I thought we were gonna be friends. Guess not. Didn't even that there's no dark urge necessary for that. That's all light urge. I think that's the same hairstyle that Kimpy the Wood Elf has. That's actually not too bad. Remember that one. No, this is actually Gimpy's hairstyle. Oh, this ponytail. I think we're gonna take this one. <laughs> it's at the end of the list, but I'm pretty sure hmm, it's worn. The other one I'm looking at. This one, right? Is this one or the ponytail? Hmm. The flopping around ponytail or the nice even part. Hmm. This is important stuff, I know. Oh, wait a minute. The tail? Yeah, I know. I wish they were numbered. I wish these were numbered. The thing is, is if she, when she's wearing a hat, the ponytail's going to go away. Can we turn off the appearance? I can't remember. Can we turn off uh, hats showing up, like helmets and whatever? Because she's going to be wearing a helmet at some point. It's going to you know, make the ponytail go away. I would think. But if there's a way to turn off the helmets showing up, that's a different story. Oh, we're thinking about that. Yes, you can hide helmets? Okay, then we'll stick with the ponytail then. Thank you. Oh, skin tone. We didn't do the skin toddler yet. We want to be dark skin, dark elf. Definitely that's not a dark elf. Purple? Nah, I don't really like that. Blue. Wow, there's barely a change there. So I think we'll go with that. Body type, random. No, don't want to randomize that. Now, wasn't there a way to? Like totally customized, like that looks like the size of the ears or something, or am I imagining that? Not that it's important, but I can't remember. I know it's in other games, but I don't know if it's in this one. Because I don't see a changing the body, the facial features. Not important, so. 
Let's see. Character name, the Dark Urge. Uh, this is Gimpy's uh, Ranger name for EverQuest. You can hide your helmet armor. Yeah, yeah. No, none of that stuff. Blah. Yeah, it kind of sucks. So, no Gimpy name. So, Drow Paladin. Oh, a guardian. Who should our guardian be? Um, no. Halfling. They're both funny looking. Um, a tiefling. <laughs> a tiefling guardian. That won't mess me up. Not an orc. No more halfling for a guardian? Thank you. Just the gnomes and halflings look funny in this game to me. Like, the, the head of the halfling looks way too big. Just the gnomes, okay. Do we care about the appearance of the guardian? Not really, so we'll just leave it. We know what a guardian is, so. Hey, Jeff, no. We don't get to name it, though. Guess it would be rather ironic story wise. It would be. It would be. So we're going now. Okay. Off we go. Hey, that only took like 35, 40 minutes. Not even 40 minutes. Should've went to lunch earlier. Or maybe that's where he was going. dragon. We get the guy that's fallen to his death, but damn it.
That is actually a really good intro. Closets are the imps. Well, if it was hell, that would make them what? Imps? I always get them mixed up. Imps? Okay. See, we like the ponytail already. Flopped over the shoulder like that. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. I have nothing inside your skull inside your name and a headache. Uh, curse whoever did this to you. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. Take a deep breath. Shake your head and start anew. Uh, start. Start anew. You have a part. A part of yourself. dark urge. Whatever that is. That is you. It's not my name. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. My head. But stuff. Ah, the packs. Escape by, uh, yeah, the Nautiloid. Keychain. Pilot an oath in their tenets. And, oh my gosh, of course, javelins. Do with javelins. The armor class. Sixteen. From armor and oh. scale mail of the ancients. You see bonus from next to limited two. That's okay, I have zero. So nothing special there. Hammer of Doom. Just a regular war hammer, one handed. Stuff so could use it two handed, but keep the shield off for now. Okay, so buttons jumping, dead. Buttons. It's divine sense, gained advantage in attack rolls against celestials, fiends, and undead. Last for two turns and regenerates that short rest. Healing radiance. Six healing. Heal yourself and all nearby allies for six hit points. So gain another six hit points next turn. Keep doing that all day. That is a channeled oath charge. So how many charges do I have? So we lay on hands already. Channel oath charge. Number of times you can draw upon your strength of your own power for your actions. There's no numbers there. I mean, there's three there, but lay on hands. So why do they have those buttons there? Beginning strike, concussive smash, backbreaker, dancing lights. Oh, this is the dark elf thing. Concentration. You can see now.
did we have to... Okay, just remember key stuff. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Reach toward the pool, investigate the pool. Skill checks, stuff, roll that dice. Oh look, we made it. No, we didn't, because we have a minus one, not a plus one. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Reach toward the pool. Killed him. Paladin, you're devoted, not smart. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I feel better. Was I hurt? I was hurt. Oh, dead mindful error. Dead. Good. Free money. Can't go there. Why not? Can I jump? We're seeing a jump. Ow, it burns. It really burns. So, must remember to jump over the fire this time. And of course, the restoration pod can be burned, right? As we already. I don't know we can do it again. Heal. Hey Gimpy, <laughs> it is time to take a break. Your next break is in one hour. Guess we don't really have anything to find in this area. This is just a get out of here type deal, isn't it? But gotta take a break first. Go see what the dogs are up to. Actually, you know what the dogs are up to. But I do need I do need to take a break. Um, I'm looking at this. Do I want to change? There. Nope, nope, just come back here. We're not done yet. I'm moving stuff around on stream real quick while I'm thinking about it. Like the dog cam needs to go a bit lower, I think. There. Better. That way you can see the map. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I have to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, check on, see where Rocket's up to, and uh, be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video. Be back shortly. <laughs>